So welcome to my channel Inspiring Brains. This is Hari, completed physiotherapy, currently doing medicine at a part-time biology faculty. So this is a continuation of my part 1 video where I cover 11th topics. Now this part is about class 12. Right? So we'll see one by one. First the chapters. So electrostatics, current electricity, magnetic effects of current and magnetism. Magnetic effects of current and magnetism. Optics. Electronic device. Finally, electronic device. These are all the nine units in class 12. Next, we'll see the percentage. Let's come. So, first is electrostatics, which is 9 percentage. Current electricity, 8. Uh, magnetic effects, say 5. AM and AC is 5. EM waves is again 5. And to be shocking, opticus. 10 percentage dual nature is 6 percentage and this is 3 percentage and finally you got 9 percentage so these are all based on analysis so electrostatics even if you are a fresher you have some confidence that you have studied uh, electrostatics in 12th but the thing is you can't handle the problems it will be somewhat tougher so what you have to do is at least go for capacitors if luck favors again you can have one question in your hand Current electricity, everyone think it is an easy chapter, but once you solve the problems, it is uh, there will be many varieties of problems in current electricity that makes the chapter somewhat tougher. But if you have strong practice and repeated practice, this current electricity will be an easiest thing. Magnetic effects and magnetics, magnetism. This you study once you know the gravitations. Gravitation Theranja, you can relate this unit and once you relate this unit, you can relate electrostatics. It's a triad. So gravitation, magnetic effects and electrostatics is a triad. Just some formulas will be changed but concept reminds the unique thing. EM and AC. So if you have uh, some attachment to this waves, that sign, cause, you can go with the EM and AC which is 5 percentage. EM waves is somewhat uh, more theoretical. So those persons who are starting now can go with EM waves. If you start pandering, EM waves is easy. Optics. Oh my God. Ray optics and wave optics. As every physicist know that this is considered as one of the toughest unit. So ray optics, wave optics. But you have something to do. Wave optics is considered as somewhat easy. It has double slit experiment, polarization, and the mari are clear. So you can concentrate on wave optics so that 3 to 4 percentage will be from wave optics. So don't leave this entire thing. Just go with wave optics. Dual nature and uh, everybody will study this. That's no issue. Atoms and nuclei, even if you're starting now, you can study this unit. Finally, electronic device, which will consisting of semiconductors. Semiconductors unit la you should know about gates and all that is very easiest unit again even if you are fresher or even if you are starting now you can start this unit the 9 percentage marks will be easily so 3 4 or uh, 5 or 6 6 7 questions will be easier to attend in class 12 if you follow this order right so now again I have segregated as slab 1 and slab 2 slab 1 is easier anyone can study if you put if you give some potent and hard work Slab 2 is somewhat, uh, you have to study more and put your more hard work in physics. If you studied all other uh, chapters like uh, chemistry, biology, murchinda, that is easy for you, slab 2. So slab 1. So just go with modern physics. That will be considered as easy. So modern physics, in and in, dual nature. You can study as it is. Then you can go with atoms and nuclei. Then you can go with electronic device, which is semiconductors. This is, you can go in a one shot. Atana mark me on Kailar. Say a dual nature percentage. You already saw, right? 6, 9, and all. So, all these percentage will be in your hand. So, nearly uh, or 5 questions. Once you finish this, you can go with EM waves. This is again a theoretical question. You can easily clear. EM waves, um, padichita, adalarka, the or question, um, nala vanga modium updina. Then you can go with wave optics then you can go with wave optics if you covered all these things seriously up to five to ten questions will be from this part ready now we'll go with slab two i'll go with slab two first you have to study magnetic effects and magnetism as i already said 
when you study gravitation then you can easily apply the concept for magnetic effects once you studied both the things then you can easily apply for electrostatics so it's like a triad so already you will be done uh, your gravitations if a magnetic effects so padich ta now you can easily apply for electrostatics so once you done with the electrostatics you know some formulas so now you can go with emi and ac so you can easily uh, have some conceptual knowledge idha vachi easier you can apply and get some answers for your problems once you done all the things now you will be cherished with all the formulas ipo enna pannona go with current electricity ipo go with current electricity because you might have studied all the formulas regarding this current electricity in various units so you can easily apply the current electricity and you can easily get the answer once you done the current electricity also finally go with ray optics so finally go with ray optics so if you follow this order then you can easily maximize your marks in 12th chapters and even though if you are freshers you can first concentrate on 12th right so first go with slab 1 easily you have 5 to 10 questions then if you know these concepts first apply the magnetic effects gravitation electrostatics concept and cover this followed by emi and ac once you done with that you have some confidence and you got some formulas in your mind then just apply the current electricity and finally ray optics but slab 1 and slab 2 completion rule is you have to see some uh, previous year question which i covered in the last video so previous year question uh, you have to uh, do again and again then only you got some ideas how the question will appear first enna pandringa na just take some book and previous year questions attend pannunga adukaprom in the unit unit ah padika start pannunga then only you have some idea oh these are all the questions oh questions will be coming like this in the pattern la varudhu so we have to concentrate these topics appadina unakku or idea kedukum so this is slab 1 and slab 2 for class 12 don't forget to subscribe this channel and uh, you can join in my telegram group for further updates thank you